Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We got a crazy video for you guys today. A long time ago we were asked to try shooting some rounds, some 50 BMG rounds through a solid jersey barrier. So we got this chunk here and we thought we'd just take care of that for you guys because we see a lot of people do cinder block, cinder block walls, but I, I haven't seen, doesn't mean they're not out there. I did a search but couldn't find anybody shooting a jersey barrier. So picked up this jersey barrier the other day, this part of one. It's got a lot of rock and stuff in it, so I'd say it's maybe 3,000 PSI rating. It's not the 5,000 PSI rating that I would like to have, but hey, you go with what you got, not with what you want. So we got this one, we got five 50 BMG armor piercing incendiary tracer rounds. Now, this barrier up here at the top is seven inches wide. Of course, down at the bottom, it's 24 inches. But we're gonna try shooting somewhere around right here, which is about eight, 10 inches wide. And uh, see how many, see if five of them can make it through, cause that's all I had was five more APIT rounds. So what I want you guys to do, pause the video right now, comment below how many rounds do you think it'll take to get through this Jersey barrier and either two or I'm thinking three, but do you think even these five will make it through? So put a comment down in there below and uh, we'll see who's right. So this is all we got. We're all set up. Let's get this going. All right. So we got a mag full of APITs. We just zeroed with some ball rounds. These should be close. Should be. We're about 45 yards back. I move back a little bit further than normal because I don't want to catch any debris, you know, landing on my head, whatnot. I just gotta line up the glory hole. Ow, flies. Am I good to go? All right, let's cause some destruction. And it seemed to hit pretty close to where I was aiming. Left a good hole. Clear. Well, as you guys could see, that went through on one round. So I'll have to check the comments, see who was right about that one. That's really impressive. I did not expect that. I thought he hit this chunk off here, but I did not expect him to shoot all the way through it. Okay, so we measured this right here and where he shot was just at about 10 inches thick, which is super impressive. This is probably maybe less than 3000 PSI cement, but still it's solid cement and it blew right through it. Not only that, we actually found the projectile. We thought it was here, but that was just a piece of concrete because that's where some uh, of the dirt was disturbed. And then we saw one other part here. So we cleared out the dirt here where we saw another disturbance and we actually found the projectile right there. So there's the back of it. It should be cooled enough where I won't do a burning myself, but you guys can tell. I mean, that core is like nothing happened to it. That's incredible. I thought it would at least be deformed but man, it punched right through that solid cement, 10 inches, like nothing. So we got another target, uh, a little lower over here on the side. It's about 13 inches thick. And we're just gonna see if we can punch through it on a single shot. I doubt it, but you never know. So let's do it. So the first round I tried loading, <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but I had a misfeed and I looked and it actually split the whole neck of the case because they're so old. These are. 1952 so apparently they start breaking down and then the one that actually did fire it is splitting 
on both sides. So this next round, we're gonna shoot a newer one, which shouldn't crack. I hope not. This one's made in 2004, not 1952, like these two were. But should be safe enough, I assume. All right, so now we're gonna shoot the thicker portion of the Jersey Barrier. I was really surprised to see it go through where it did the first round. I thought it would take a couple at least. But let's give this one a try. Here we go. Ow. Ow. Is the concrete burning? Is the concrete burning? That was weird, it smoked for a while. Clear. All right, so it didn't go through, but it was kind of cool. I don't know, I don't know if anything caught it, but the tracer round started burning after it hit. So that was, that was pretty cool. We were like, what's going on? So we put this rod in here and we, and, um, we want to see how far it went in. We check this one here and it's not a clean through hole. It actually dog legs halfway through the barrier. And that's why that uh, we found the projectile over there off to the side of the hole. But so this is how far it went in as far as we can get it in. So this might be the back of the projectile. It might not. So we'll say about there. Oh God. So it still went in pretty far. Looks like about, die mosquito. So it looks like it went in about six and three quarter inches. That's pretty good. So, all right, we got a couple more rounds. Justin's gonna try this same area and see if we can get at least through this 13 inch thick concrete with two more of those APIT rounds. Here we go. All right. So now it's time to do another round. I'm gonna try to get it inside the same hole, you know, who knows. I'll probably get pretty close to it. But this one's another 1952 round, so it may just fly in a completely different spot. We'll find out though. Good to go. I think that was pretty close. Clear. Okay, it didn't go through. You look at the high speed camera, it hit just left of the first hole, um, but still on target to the same general area. And that thing hit with some force because it cracked this block from here all the way into the other hole, the first round. And then Oh, we're looking, let's see, I want to say it went in about the same, yeah, it's right at about the same, about six and three, six and a half, that, that one's about six and a half inches, it, it feels to the back of the round, as long as that's not, you know, a piece of obstruction of concrete or something we're hitting, but it's basically the same. Okay, we got one more round left since our the first round we tried split the casing. Again, like Justin said, you gotta, gotta be careful with those uh, World War II rounds. We've fired a whole bunch of them and they'll all fire, but most of them split the case at the top and are unusable brass after that. But we got one more round. He's gonna hit it at the same spot and see if we can bust this thing out the backside. Here we go. All right, so our last round is actually a modern one, 03. So not a 1952. 
I'm hoping it punches all the way through, but I guess we're gonna find out. And if it doesn't punch all the way through, I hope it cracks the whole thing in half. Oh, man. Smoking again. It's smoking again. <laughs> I can't see daylight through it. Clear. All right, so it didn't go all the way through. So here's the picture of the entrance. And here's a picture of the backside where you can see it actually pushed some of the cement off. All right, so this one definitely went in farther. And again, I think you could hear the uh, tracer compound sizzling and burning after it impacted but uh, let's see if we hold about right there so we're getting through this thing he is about 10 three quarter inches but lucky for you guys I was looking in Justin's truck and we're gonna get a little help from our friends we got some Russian API rounds loaded in the 50 BMG brass. Um, so we're gonna see if uh, we can get some help from our Russian buddies and push through the backside of this barrier. So we couldn't just let the barrier win. <clears throat> I am determined to punch through it on that hole. So we got that Russian API. Uh, let's demolish this thing. Get in there. Oh, geez, that seemed to recoil like a lot more. Oh, geez, that seemed to recoil. Like... Yeah, I think I got it in there. I got it in the hole. Jeez. Clear. There's so much dirt in my mouth right now. All right. Thank you to our Russian comrades for helping us blow through this 13 inches of concrete down here. That one finished it off. So we thought it was going to have a different trajectory, but he hit right same in the same spot. And as you can tell, that baby punched right through. Yeah. You can come around here. So here's the exit here, but it does actually dog leg kind of through there. I'll see if I can, I don't know if you can see any light through that. Nah, oh, there it is. Anyways, it kind of dog legs um, all these, all these shots kind of dog legged once they went in and out. We tried digging through some more of the dirt, but we were unsuccessful at finding the core on that one. So we're gonna have to get a stronger barrier, Justin, and uh, see how that thing holds up against some 50 cal API, APIT rounds, or maybe even some Ralphus rounds. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to pick up your Going Ballistic t-shirts. All t-shirts are just 10 bucks now, and that's until they're gone, they're just gonna be 10 bucks. So if you missed out on the $7 t-shirt, well, it was for sale for quite some time. So all t-shirts, 10 bucks. Thank you to our patrons. If you guys wanna become a patron, there's a link down in the description below. It's as low as a dollar a month, really helps this channel out, helps us buy rounds. As you guys know, they're super expensive buy stuff like this uh, to keep this channel going we just appreciate you all so much so thanks for watching we'll be back